Hey guys, so I'm gonna do a really quick review of Dries von Noden's uh, collection of perfumes. There's 10 of them and I'm gonna go through them real quickly, so let's get started. Jardin de l'Orangerie is a beautiful feminine orange blossom scent. It's creamy, a bit powdery, and it's a bit aquatic even. The sandalwood is pretty subtle. Honestly, for me, this wasn't special enough for the high price tag. I want something unique for this level of, I guess, money that you're gonna spend, but this is crowd pleasing, it projects really well. It could be headache if you spray too much, but it's lovely. I love the minty freshness in Neon Garden. It's a bit soapy, clean, and fresh. The iris and cara combination, I don't know, there's something about this that I really love. It's also in one of my other favorite scents, which is Studied by Lise. So yeah, I would definitely purchase this one. Rosa Carnivora is a woody rose. It's a very soft but straightforward rose. The pink pepper gives it a little bit of sparkle. It's really similar to La Lava Rose 31, um, but this has a good hand of vetiver. This smells like rose fragrances that are popular right now, not the traditional soft rose, but more of like the spicy wooden versions. Though it was interesting that uh, they launched the collection with two rose fragrances, but Raving Rose is a bold, spicy rose. The opening is very interesting, but it fades quickly, so might want to try it on your skin and see how you feel with it um, after a few hours. This is a traditional rose. Once you get to the spice, it's a solid rose fragrance. Cannabis Patchouli is a masculine, woody, earthy, and kind of smoky scent. The incense note is... Something that I struggle with in perfumes, but if you are into incense, then you might want to check this out. This is very herbal. Um, the sage is very green smelling. So I see someone like, like a hipster, someone hanging out at a bar in Brooklyn would be wearing something like this. Santal Greenery is a citrusy, fig, juicy, fresh, and honestly really pleasant scent. I'm not sure if it's special enough again for the hefty price tag. I know a lot of other fig uh, fragrances that I would recommend over this, but it's still a nice sandalwood and it has a very subtle, pretty dry down. One thing I do want to compliment about this whole collection is the naming. I, Voodoo Chili is the next one. I love the name of this. It's an aromatic green, a touch of sweet or some kind of fruitiness in there. It's unique but wearable, so I would love to smell this on the guy. Rock Thermer is the next one. The silage on this is really good. I recommend it for colder weathers. It's an ambery leather scent. Uh, the leather is prominent, but it's smoothed out with the sweetness of it. Um, but I would never personally wear this because of the leather, but if you are into that, definitely check this one out. Fleur du Mal has a really interesting uh, thing happening with on the nose. It has a fuzzy peach opening and the peach and suede bursting through with some interesting suede, fruity, floral combination. Um, if you love peach but you haven't been impressed with some of the mass ones and you're looking for something a little bit more interesting, definitely check Fleur du Mal out. Last but not least is Soa Malake. This was a love at first sniff. It's a sweet, fruity, but chocolatey deliciousness in a bottle and I fell in love with it right away. So I love Soa Malake so much that I bought the bottle as soon as I smelled the sample. I haven't opened up the package yet because I'm still working through the sample, but I cannot wait to open this up because the bottle design is so beautiful with the porcelain and like the dark glass that they use in it. So that's it for my review of Dries Van Noten's perfume collection. I had to get these samples because I live so far away from like the next, you know, department stores that has all of their perfumes. But um, yeah, I wasn't really a fan of the dabber of the samples. Um, I prefer sprays. So if you can get to a counter to test their fragrance, I think that would be a lot better. Hope this was helpful and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.